Welcome back guys, and today we have another week of Broadway grosses, so let's get into it. And Juliet went from 94% to 97%, going from $1 million last week to $1,185,634 this week. Um, A Beautiful Noise um, went from 78% last week to 82% this week, staying in the million dollar club, um, and increasing in um, the gross difference too. Um, Bad Cinderella is continuing to do bad, pun definitely intended, going from 63% to 68%, going from $324,000 last week to this week's $384,528, and that show is closing in a couple weeks. Camelot went from 93% last week to 90% this week, going from $871,290 last week to this week's 851402 Funny Girl had a bit of a decline going from 91% to 67%, so a pretty big decline, but that is because Leah Michelle missed a couple of performances at the end of this week, um, but it still made $1,148,386 overall this week compared to last week's $1,637,625. Hades Town saw a bit of an increase going from 93% to 99%, going from last week's 672,948 to this week's 771,282. And again, Hades Town is doing well, but I won't know if this will close this year or in January until the fall, but for late now, you could expect it to be in the 600, 700 category, and it won't go probably below that. If it does, then it's in big trouble. I still think it will close relatively soon based on the grosses. Hamilton went from 97% last week to this week's 100%, going from 1,889,515 to this week's 1,906,604. Kimberly Akimbo went from 92% to 96%, going from 487,392 to this week's 540,852, which is an amazing increase for Kimberly Akimbo, which has been struggling at the box office, and this is like its best week since February, so hopefully next week we can get to 6, and then 7, maybe 8, I don't think it will make it to a million before the Tonys, but who is to hoping that it will after the Tonys, again, I think this will have a run similar to A Strange Loop, where it got a lot of the awards and the acclaim, but it only runs for a very small amount of time, although I do think Akimbo will make it to one year on Broadway, um, but that is because it opened earlier than A Strange Loop did. Moulin Rouge went from 96% to 98%, going from 1,262,452 last week to this week's 1,405,219, so doing awesome there. Despite the many people, including myself, that did not love New York, New York, it is doing the best out of all of the original musicals this season, which is very surprising considering how bad it was, re- how badly it was received. Um, it went from 84% to 89%, going from $1 million last week to this week's $1,153,124, which is just insane. Um, I truly don't know how that is, that show is doing so well. And my, my real question is, will it do this good post Tonys? I personally think it won't, but we'll have to see. Um, I just don't see it sticking around for too long. I think eventually the buzz and the hype will wane off of it, and I don't think it can survive at like 700, 800 you know, 600k like Akimbo could or Shocked could, so it only needs like a couple of months to do not so great for it to, to close. So, um, I won't really be able to tell you how it will go. I thought it would close in January, I still think it can, um, but it is doing way better than I thought. Once Upon a, Once Upon a One More Time, um, and that's at the infamous Marquee Theater where everything flops, went from 84% last week to 73% this week, and 561,000 Six hundred and fifty-eight dollars, and an average ticket of seventy, which is not great. Um, next week, if it doesn't have a six in front of it, it's in trouble. Not a great start for a musical of this caliber, of this size, of this scale, and signs don't look great. But like, 
Most shows at the Moki Theater have flopped, so I'ma just say it's gonna be gone before the end of the year. Puaid, despite Ben Platt leaving, did really well, um, going from 93% to 97%, um, and it made a million dollars like last week, and it has been since. And the average ticket went down, but the capacity went up, which is awesome for Puaid, and kind of proves that Ben Platt might not be a necessary ingredient to it succeeding. And that's what you want. Shucks continues climbing upwards, going from 93% to 98%, and 712, 755 last week to this week's 779,986. And again, very surprised that Shucks is continuing to go up these numbers, and it might hit 800,000, but again, I'm very intrigued to see how both this and New York, New York do post Tonys. I think both won't be good at off. In, in the long run, I think both will be closed in January, but that is my prediction. But again, I feel like it's being carried on by the po by the Tony buzz, by the cast album coming out. But I feel like once we get into the fall and we have new musicals coming in and um, stuff over the summer, I feel like those both of those shows will start to wane. And like I feel like as a producer, if you know Shuck does you know, 500, 600, 400 over the fall, they should probably close it because you're going to lose a lot of money in January and February. Same for New York, New York. So I do think it will decline in the fall, in the fall end of summer part of the season, but both are doing way better than I thought. Very happy about it, but just very unexpected. But again, I think that goes to show the power that Tony nominations have over a show. And Shuck's marketing strategy... It worked out, but not in the way they thought, because I think, again, the cast album and the public performance and the Tony nominations is why they're doing so well, not the marketing they had on TikTok and whatnot. Six went from 963767 to a million dollars, going from 89% to 91%. Some Like It Hot had its actual first good week, going from 80% to 91%, and 993349 last week to this week's 1,156,374, which is awesome for Some Like It Hot. And when I look at it now, I think I've reevaluated my opinion on Some Like It Hot, and it will definitely last until the end of the year. However, I think shocked New York, New York, and Some Like It Hot will not be here this time next year, and um, will close all in January. Um, that's my prediction. Um... I feel like Some Like It Hot has less of a, has probably more of a chance of closing because they have been open longer, so they have been losing money longer, and it is a big show, and I just don't think it's going to make 1 million and 900 and 800 over the fall, and then I think that's why it will close. Could be wrong. If I had to pick one out of those three shows, which one would likely stick out the longest? Uh, I'm a, you know, I'm going to say Some Like It Hot, I'm gonna, or maybe Shocked. But again, we really have to wait until the fall to see how these shows do, and on a week-by-week -week basis. Um, but I think all three are at a very strong chance of closing. Um, but I do think New York New York is the one that will probably lose steam the fastest, and I, I feel like we'll close the first. We'll be the first to close. But I, I could be wrong, because it is doing better than Shocked and Some Like It Hot. Um, so Some Like It Hot could be first because they've been running longer, thus they've been losing money for longer. And then to top it off, Sweeney went from 97% to 99%, going from 1,840,997 to this week's 1,867,368. Well, that was a lot of big numbers, but this was a great week across the board, a couple of disappointments, but all of the new musicals are doing well, and that's all we really want, so I'm excited to see what next week holds. I think that we'll see a consistent amount of good business until the Tonys, and then we'll start to see um, which show is the most affected from not getting that big Best Musical prize. I personally think it's going to be Shocked and potentially New York, New York, but we'll see. That's the video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.